take the old fuel pump out of the MX-3 and put in the replacement. Take it out, fill the tank with gas, and hopefully the uh, stumbling is gone. Hopefully it's just a fuel issue where occasionally the fuel pump stops pumping. I'll bring you back when I've got the old one out. It's the fuel pump filter assembly. It just got pulled out of the tank in the Mazda. But anyway, this is the active pump. Plugs in here, plugs in on the other side. This float is to tell you the fuel level. And then this is the inlet sock. For the most part, it's pretty darn clean. So we will see what's in the new box. Compare it to what's there. And remove what's this. Remove that and replace it with that. This is what's in the new box. We've got the pump, and it looks just like that one. We've got this little spacer block, which will fit in here, fit in there. We've got a new hose to replace this one. We've got a new pigtail, if we need, that will splice into that lead coming in there from over there. And we've got a new filter, which fits up there. New sock, filter sock. So what we don't have is a new band, but that feels like rubber. So we'll just work to take this apart. So this is off. I just slid the band up. So I just slid the band up and over, got it off, disconnected the little pigtail wires, they are right here. They actually fit into the end of the new pump. The piece of gas line tubing, I'll cut the new one to be the same, slide in on, so I don't reuse that. And everything looks good to go back in. All right, everything is back together. Ended up reusing the sock from before because it's the only one that has the right orientation to fit in the tank properly. These two uh, stuck too far out in this direction. They would have interfered with the bottom of the tank. I didn't want to bend it. I ended up reusing this isolator piece here. It's rubber and I reused the one that came with the Mazda because it's got these two unique nubs whereas the one that came in the kit, those nubs don't line up with the slots in this plate so like i said everything's back together the reused pigtail is plugged into both and the clamps for the new hose are in place so let's go put it in everything's back in took a little bit of cranking to build up fuel pressure again but uh, everything seems to be doing fine underneath do we see any leaks the tank with gas and hopefully all these problems go away.